Knowing what your competitors are doing is a must for any size business. You need to know what products are launching, what discounts, what promotions, etc. And doing all of this is time consuming. Well, what if I told you that you can do this on autopilot? It's called Tona, and I'm going to show you how it's done because it's super easy. Let's get started right now. What's up, SaaS Masters? So like I said, I'm going to show you how to spy on your competitors. And in my case right now, I am about to open up a coffee shop business, and I want to know what the big shots are doing in terms of their newsletters, what they're doing on their pages, on their promotional pages, etc. And all of this is going to be done with Tona. Now, if you want to check it out, link will be provided in the description. So let me jump over to my Tona dashboard. Here it is. So like I said, I'm about to open up a coffee shop business in Mexico. So I need to know what the big shots are actually doing. And I'm going to start adding one of the small competitors as I go along. So right now, these are some of the big shots in the coffee business, which is Cafeño, Starbucks, Punta del Cielo, Dunkin', Mac Coffee, Juan Valdez, etc. And I'm going to screenshot certain parts of their website to know what they're actually doing. And I can come back and see what they've done. And for example, in a year or two years, I know what they're going to do, for example, on Halloween, what they're going to do on Christmas, what they're going to launch. And aside from all that, I'm also going to get the newsletters inside of all of these to keep them neatly organized. OK, so let's get started. So first of all, let's get started with this one. It's called Cafeño. And what I've done right here is I've decided that I want to set a routine to screenshot every single day these pages. So the main page and the store page. So here we go. Here's the store screenshots and here's the main page. Why? Because I want to know what products they are launching and what's happening on their screenshot. So on their main page. So let me click on this one. This was the 19th. So this was the day. Check this out. And I know what they're doing. So basically everything is as is from what it was before. But I have a record of what they're doing. So this was the next day, the 20th. Here we go. And in this case, I decided I wanted to screenshot desktop and mobile view. Why? Because there might be a certain pop up on mobile view. So I want to see how that looks and I get to see everything here and it's going to be done every single day right here. OK, now, how do I launch a routine? So that's it's super easy. I'll click on new routines and I can set a name for this. I'll just say, um, I don't know. Promotion page and I'll just say it's that promotions. I'm just making this up. The frequency, I have the option for daily, weekly, and monthly. And then I'll just say daily right here. And I want to set desktop and also mobile view. It could be one or the other or both. In this case, if you select mobile view, you have the option what type of phone it kind of simulates. Okay. So in this case, iPhone 12 Pro and the proxy. So if this is near to the country or city that you are from, select it. So in this case, it's USA because I'm in Mexico. That would be the nearest one to me. But if I were in India, for example, or in Europe, I would say like Germany, United Kingdom, et cetera. So in this case, it would be USA. Create and boom, it's going to start doing the screenshots every single day because that's how I set it. So I'm going to have a record of everything that's going on on that on these pages that I'm doing the uh, routines on. And I can favorite these to look at them later on. So if I know that something has changed, I'll favorite this one so I can come back to it. And then I can filter by dates or favorites. Okay. And that's what's happening right now. For example, Starbucks, I'm doing the same thing. Oh, I haven't set this, the routine for them. Let's see, Punta del Cielo. Yeah, this one I have. So here's the main page, the new products page. Here we go. And if I check this out, I know what they are doing. So they're doing a promotion and subscribe and get a 10% off discount. And here's some of the products that they have right now. And I can check this every single day, every week, whenever I want to check this. And I have the data right here on Tona. All right. Now that's for the screenshots part. Okay. What happens with the newsletters? Again, you're going to receive promotions and you're going to know what they are actually doing or what's coming because you're going to sign up to the newsletter. And the beauty about this is that you don't have to give up your email. OK, so I ran a test here on Mac Cafe because I haven't received any newsletters from these guys yet, but I will. So what you do for the newsletter is you add a newsletter and you'll say, in this case, it's testing. I'll create right now and I'll get a unique email. So I'll jump over to Mac Cafe website and I'll sign up for their newsletter with this email. So that means I don't have to give up my own email and the emails are going to be redirected to Tona so I can view them right here. Now, the beauty about this, they will also take care of the double opt in section. So let's just say they need to double opt in to get the newsletter. They'll take care of it. All right. 
Now, in this case, I ran a test. Here it is on the main one with this email. And you can create several emails inside of this. Okay, so you don't have to stick with one. You can select several routines in newsletter. So in this case, I send an email to myself just to receive it, just to show you guys what's going to happen. And this is how you're going to view it. So in this case, it was sent on 20th of September at 5.32 p.m. And this is the HTML view. And I just said testing with the title testing. Okay, here it is. You can view it HTML view and the plain view to see what's going on. So I have some trackers there. That's why you see all those links there. But it's pretty cool that we have also a history of all the newsletters that you're going to receive from the companies that you are spying on. Okay, so that's pretty interesting. And again, you can favorite these and you have your filter right here. Okay, and if you want to request features, you can do so here. So basically, it's super easy to spy on competitors and keep track of what they're doing so you can be on top of the game. So like I said, once you start using this and later on, you want to come back and see what they actually did in certain in certain dates. Well, you know what they're going to do or something similar the next year, the, et cetera. Whenever you have a holiday, you're going to know what they're doing. So it's just as easy as this. Just setting the, the name for it, adding the website that you want to screenshot, and you're going to be able to add all the history here. And every single day is going to take care of this for you. Well, daily, weekly, or monthly. Remember, the routine, you have the option to select the frequency from here. So it's super easy to spy on competitors using Tona. And the best part about it is that it's on autopilot. So you don't have to do a lot of setup. It's easy and it's going to do it for you once you set this up. So check Tona out. I'll leave the link in the description so you can check it out. And let me know what you think in the comments about Tona. Well, that's a wrap.